What's up, people, man? <clears throat> this your boy is either real here, and I'm just gonna talk about, you know, what I'm saying what's really going on in LA right now, and then I'm gonna explain to y'all that there's really no beef. You know, shouts out to the uh, Clippers fan page. You know, what I'm saying I'm a part of Carl Smith. Everybody that's there, man, I want to thank y'all so much for being a part of this uh, Clipper team because you never gave up hope, right? First of all, I'm going to get this out the way now. There is no battle for L.A., actually, man. There's no beef between these two teams. The Clippers themselves are not worried about the uh, Lakers. I'm going to tell you that now, right? I mean, if you're, in the, if you're in the position the Clippers are, why would you be worried about a Laker team that hasn't made the playoffs in six years? All right? Now, somebody posted the um, clip on the uh, fan page or today of, the, uh, of Stephen A. Smith's segment they did on first take. Over the, uh, I think Paul George and, uh, what Paul George is saying, him and Kawhi Leonard are a bear duo. He's trying to say, oh, he's dissing, uh, AD and LeBron. Don't believe that. No, take that with a grain of salt, man. That's not to be taken seriously. You see, Stephen A. Smith is upset that Kawhi Leonard chose to go to the Clippers. Like most of these fans. For the people who haven't been, um, paying attention recently, uh, just lately, Kawhi Leonard and Paul George have been getting booed everywhere they go in LA. Where they go to a mall. Where they go to a Dodger game, okay? A football game, they've all been getting booed. Why? Because these Laker fans are mad they're not on their team, okay? Now, Snoop Dogg came on undisputed, and he said this, uh, he said, like, we don't we don't hate uh, Kawhi or Paul George. We love our L.A. Uh, players. We just, we just don't like the fact they're on the opposite team, which is understandable, okay? One thing about Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg, Talking about the Clippers respectfully. He don't go off dissing them like Ice Cube did. Right? There's a difference. But anyways, Paul George even said himself, he said this in um the day he got signed, right? When he when he signed that contract, when they um did the interview, he said, We don't we're not worried about LA. We're not trying to beef with them. The problem is the media, such as Stephen A. Smith, Shannon Sharp, even Shannon Sharp, right? That's what he, this dude is mad at the fact that the Clippers are ranked number one. In the power rankings. It's like he can't give Kawhi Leonard no respect, right? Because LeBron James is not number one right now. He hates it, right? Shannon Sharp. This is one of the reasons why I'm I'm really un honestly, truth be told, during basketball season, I'm not trying to watch Undisputed no more. Because Shannon Sharp is way too biased. And you got Skip Bay's got a call. That's a challenge, Shannon Sharp, every time, right? Again, man. The Clippers are not concerned right now. They are the best team right now in the league. Defensively, okay. No, the Clippers are, don't have no beef with the Lakers. They're not concerned with the Lakers right now. The what the Clippers are concerned with, Paul George and Kawhi they concerned about winning a championship for LA. That's what they're concerned about. They want to give the Clippers a, a title, something they never had. Kawhi Leonard is trying to make history this season because Kawhi Leonard is trying to go for a, go for his third NBA championship and win two in a row, just like Kobe did back in 2009, 2010. And speaking of Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant just recently opened up his um his uh basketball camp in his new facility. And at that camp, it was invitation only. Kobe Bryant invited both Paul George and Kawhi Leonard to his camp. He did not have no Laker fans there. LeBron was invited, nor AD. No Laker players was invited to his camp. Okay? That's another reason why a lot of media is hating on the Clippers. Steve Smith knows this, right? Steve Smith knows that Kawhi Kobe Bryant is gravitating more towards Kawhi Leonard. Okay, this is why Adam Silver tried to find Doc Rivers because he was pissed off. Now you just now you know why, because Doc Rivers com um compared Kawhi Leonard to Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant, and Adam Silver got pissed off. He didn't like that, so he tried to say uh, Doc Rivers was tampering, but it wasn't in fact that he was tampering. Okay, Kawhi Leonard was on a different team; they was on opposite teams at the time. So how's that tampering? With Doc Rivers asked that question, right? Everything comes down to the, the uh, Clippers. Being better than Lakers, and this is what the media hates. Al Silver don't like it. Stephen A. Smith don't like it. Okay, especially Chris Bazaar is two times behind. Okay, this is a Chris Bazaar who told everybody that the, the Clippers had zero chance of signing Kawhi Leonard after he first said Kawhi Leonard was going to join the Clippers. Right? This is remember, remember what Chris Bazaar said, right? No, they don't like the fact that Kawhi Leonard and Paul George are on the Clippers. So they're trying to make some type of beef out of it. Because truth be told, Kawhi Leonard and Paul George are standing in the way of LeBron James in uh, AD. They know LeBron is pretty much on his way out. And I'll be honest, man. LeBron is basically on, um, this is last three years. By the, I think, I say by 2021, when his contract is up, 
Yeah, the 21, 22 season. Yeah, because I think LeBron's contract up should be up in like 2022 because we in 2019 going to 2020. He got two more years left after this year. So in, I say, 2022, LeBron James should be fully like retired. Like he should be done by that time. They know LeBron James' window is closing. Okay? The media understands that LeBron James is on his last, his last years of his own career. Okay? Last season was the first time LeBron has had a serious injury. Remember, since I've been watching LeBron, since I was like 14, LeBron ain't never had no injury like that where he took him out for two months. That groin injury was LeBron's first injury, which tells you he's getting older. Anthony Davis, on the other hand, okay, again, this is somebody who's once again never got out the second round, okay? This guy has never been an MVP player. He has never won MVP the league before. Neither has he ever gotten to a conference um, championship or gotten to the finals, okay? So how are you going to put LeBron and AD ahead of um, Kobe, uh, ahead of uh, Kawhi Leonard and Paul George? Okay, this, that's, that's why I want to, um, that's my question for Stephen A. Smith. You know what I'm saying? How is Paul George saying him and Ka uh, Kawhi Leonard are, are a good duo, or a better duo? How is he, how is he wrong for that? Okay? Paul George is supposed to think like that, right? But no, again, Steve A. Smith is upset the fact that LeBron James can't have no super team no more. This is what this is really about. Steve A. Smith, like everybody else, wanted Kawhi Leonard to join the Lakers with AD. They want that super team. That's what they, that's what he's really mad about, right? He's also mad at the fact that Paul George didn't choose to go to the, uh, to the Staples Center and join the Lakers. And speaking of Paul George, now he gave OKC a chance, right? You know what I'm saying? Y'all can't say Paul George didn't give Russell Westbrook a chance for the Thunder fans who may not like, may not like this video, don't like the fact that Paul George left him. No, Paul George gave all, gave the Thunder a chance, right? It just wasn't working out. Okay? Billy Donovan, for some reason, coaching, it just not, he, he just can't stack up as a coach. Okay? Russell Westbrook is becoming, you know what I'm saying, a bad teammate, somebody you can't work with. It's hard to work with him. And matter of fact, speaking of Billy Donovan, Billy Donovan should be um, on his way to be getting fired next. He should be on the hot seat. Because Billy Donovan ain't got no excuse why his team couldn't get back to the finals. Billy Donovan has no excuse why the Thunder couldn't get to the finals them last five years in a row, right? Billy Donovan had Serge Ibaka. You've had uh, Kevin Durant before he left. You've had Victor Oladipo. You've had Carmelo Anthony lad two years ago. And then you had Paul George for two years. Along with Rush Book, Steven Adams, okay? The fact that the Thunder have not, or no, have been, uh, have been eliminated in the first round twice, okay? And the fact that, you know what I'm saying, like, it, like they, like the fact that, um, they keep getting embarrassed every year is a problem. This is why Paul George decided he wanted, he went out of OKC, he rather plays with Kawhi Leonard. Because he knows Kawhi Leonard is a for sure teammate, alright? Doc Rivers is a, is a far better coach than Bill Dillman and Frank Vogel. Okay, so this is why Paul George wanted to be with Doc Rivers and play with Kawhi Leonard. So again, why should the Clippers be worried about the Lakers? All right. So if you're a Clipper fan, you should not be worried about the Lakers at all. all right. We need to be, you know, saying we need to worry about making it to the. Uh, we need to be worried about making it to the Western Conference Finals. That's on the Clippers' mind right now. Okay, getting out the second round. Whoever you're gonna play, whether it be Houston, Denver, okay, Portland, this Laker team, or the or, um, uh, let's say the um. Uh, yeah, this 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 Lakers team, or let's say a team like uh like New Orleans or something like that, right? You need to worry about who you're gonna be playing in the playoffs next year in, in 2020. That's what we need to be worried about. We shouldn't be worried about a Lakers team that ain't made the playoffs. Cause I'm gonna tell you right this right now, for the sixth time, the Lakers have basically changed their roster up. They changed the starting lineup. They got a, a, a new set of head coaches. Okay, Vogel and Jason Kidd are once on the Western Conference. They want a tougher conference than the Eastern Conference. All right, they're not on the East no more. They got a, a totally different cast, a different roster to work with. He, they got to learn how to work with this team here. All right? The Clippers already got an established roster already. Okay? The Clippers took the last two years to develop that core. Okay? Lou Williams, Landry Shamit, okay, um, Jamaica Green, Lou Williams, Pat Beverly, Vika Zubak, that's the core there with Jerome Robinson, right? That's the initial core. That team has been together for a couple of years, for at least a year, right? Paul George and Kawhi Leonard are just a missing piece to the puzzle. And then on top of that, they picked up Mo Harkless and Ronnie Magruder again, two good role players, along with Pat uh, Patrick Patterson, right? 
They picked up some good role players. They drafted Capigale and Terrence Mann. Capigale was a first-round draft pick, the number 25, 25th pick overall from Florida State. Had an excellent year with his partner, Terrence Mann. So they got a complete roster. That's why the clip, this Clippers ain't concerned with the Lakers. They already the better team. Okay, yeah. Okay, we understand it, man. Lakers are Lakers, right? They got 16 championships. Lakers got championships most of these teams ain't going to get. I'll be honest, man. Most people, most of these teams ain't going to get the... Most of us may not even get to see no other team get 16 or 17 championships like the Lakers are, or the Celtics do in our lifetime, right? For a team like the Clippers to get 16 championships, that's going to be years from now. Okay? But no, the Clippers aren't concerned about no um, battle for LA. This is all fake, man. This is just the media being pissed off. Okay? Because like I told you before, the media wants the Lakers in the finals. They want to continue to push LeBron James. Okay? LeBron James, they posted boy, and since LeBron James didn't make the playoffs last year, and because LeBron James, the last time he was in the finals, lost two years in a row, they upset about that, and they'll make every excuse. Chris Bassard, Nick Wright, Chris Carter, okay? Stephen A. Smith, especially Shannon Sharp, man. My God, dude. That guy gets on my nerves with LeBron, right? Again, they so into LeBron, they'll, 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 um, just, they'll, they'll basically shrug off every other team, right? Remember, the Lakers was, was talked about more so on those shows, and they weren't even in the playoffs last year. They were not talking about the Houston Rockets, Portland Trailblazers, Denver Nuggets, LA Clippers, or the Golden State Warriors as much as they was talking about the Lakers. Right? No. Y'all got a real, people got to understand it. It's the Clippers' turn now. It's their turn to, to be a dynasty team. All right? LeBron James ain't finna win. I ain't, ain't about to be winning more championships. He had his time already. As far as I'm concerned, LeBron's time ended when the, uh, when the uh, Warriors swept them. When uh, when Kevin Durant and Steph Curry and them swept uh, LeBron James in the finals after LeBron James, before LeBron James left Cleveland, that was it for LeBron. Okay? If you're Kawhi Leonard, this is your time to shine. Okay? Kawhi Leonard at 26 years old has already been two times finals MVP and has already won the second NBA championship. Okay? At 26. Kawhi knows he has a chance to win at least... Two or three more with this Clipper team, because the Clippers can go three and zero. Oh. They can go on. Uh, they can go to three finals in a row, just like Golden State did, right? They could. They could potentially three peat. Like I said, since they got Jerry West and since Bomber hired a GM and a, an actual president to run these uh, these management decisions, and just have Doc Rivers on the coaching staff, just coaching alone, it's gonna work out better for them. And speaking of coaching staff, look at Ty Lue. Doc Rivers is paired up with Ty Lue again, like he was in the Boston. Ty Lue has already won an NBA championship already with LeBron James. So Ty Lue already knows everything about LeBron James. He knows what LeBron James tendencies. He knows how LeBron James can get hot on the court. He already knows how LeBron James can play. Ty Lue knows everything LeBron James is on the court, right? He's been they've been together for the last they've been together for four years, right? So this is why the Clippers decided to put the money, drop that money, and pay Ty Lue because Ty Lue already has intel on LeBron James. And the Lakers as an organization, because remember, Ty Lue was on that three-peat championship squad with Kobe Bryant and Shaq. Okay? So if you're the Clippers, you should not be worried about the Lakers at all. Because the Clippers can actually win 60 games. They're going to win at least, I say, 55 to 60 games next year anyway. Whereas the Lakers are going to have to um, learn to play together. Okay? So remember, you you heard what Paul George and Kawhi Leonard said. They're not concerned with no Laker beef. They're not. They're going to do their thing. Now, yes... Paul George is gonna be missing some time in October because he's he's had um uh, he's getting the show to work done, but they don't they can survive without Paul George. Okay? Like I say again, you got Mo Harkless, you got Mo Harkless, you got Jamaica Green, okay? You got Terrence Mann who could play the shooting guard, the two in the two and three. You got Jerome Robinson, you got Capagelli, they straight. Okay. Like I said, Pat Barry, Lou Williams, these guys can get down. And speaking of Lou, and even in, even in Lou Williams and uh Montrez Hell. They were both tied for six men of the year. And then you got Vika Zubac, basically who's a, who's a manager of Marcus Saul. Right? They got, the Clippers got more than enough help. They deep. Okay? They got an actual squad. So if you're a Clipper fan, you ought to be comfortable. This is the best you're going to, this is the best team you're going you're gonna to get. And I'm going to say this with all due respect. This Clipper team is way better than Lob City. By far. Having a Kawhi Leonard, a Paul George on the team with Pat Beverly, Lou Williams. Okay, Landry Shamit. Okay, with Vika Zubak and Montrez Hill. That's far better than having a DeAndre Jordan Blake Griffin and Chris Paul. Because I told y'all before with that Lob City team, man, they just weren't that good. 
And the problem with Lob C is again, you don't you didn't have a Kawhi Leonard or a Paul George as your as your force, right? You have no quality swing man like that. Because Matt Barnes, Grant Hill, Karan Butler, okay, those guys were just those guys were either too old or they just weren't no that they just weren't those type of players no more. Grant Hill and Karan Butler were already old. Those were older guys. They were already they already passed their primes already. Matt Barnes and Mama Mute were never 20 some point scorers at all. Okay, this was the problem with Lob City. Chris Paul, as you can see, keeps getting bounced around from team to team. Chris Paul is now on his, like, I say, third team in the last 10 years, right? He's been on the Clippers. These went from the Clippers to the Rockets, dice on OKC Thunder. That's already three teams in, a, in, a, in, a, in a, like, a, I say, in a, like an eight year, 10 year um, period. Yeah, it's been a long time since he left the Hornets, but in like a three, and I, I say, in like a five year period. Five to ten year period, he's now on three teams. He's becoming a journeyman now. Somebody's teams don't want to deal with. It was James Harden who had Chris Paul traded out of there anyway. Because Chris Paul was getting into a James Harden just like he did Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan. Right? Again, there's a reason why Lao City didn't work out because Chris Paul didn't allow Doc Rivers to uh do his thing. He didn't trust in Doc Rivers coaching. So Doc Rivers, as far as I'm concerned, prove he's not the reason why the uh Clippers Choked away a 3-1 lead against the Rockets back in uh, 2015. Right? That was Chris Paul being a hard, you know what I'm saying, not being hard to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Trying to do his own thing, want to run the team anyway he wants to run it and not listen to Doc Rivers. Notice, since Chris Paul been going, the Clippers have actually made the playoffs without any superstar players. Okay, so Paul George and Kawhi Leonard gives them the superstars they've been missing. Okay? So again... The, the Clippers are not concerned with no LeBron James at all. They're not. Don't get me wrong. Now, I'm not taking away nothing from the Lakers. LeBron and AD can really ball. Okay, them two are definitely a good duo. But again, man, I can't put them above Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. Because let's just let's just keep it off. Let's just be one, a thousand now. Let's be honest, man. Okay? And this, like I said, you got to hold players like LeBron and AD accountable, right? Again, like I told you earlier in this video, AD has never once got out the second round. Okay, he's lost to the same, he's lost to the Warriors twice. The first, remember, the Warriors have beaten the um, Anthony Davis without uh, without the, uh, Kevin Durant. They didn't need Kevin Durant the first time. They defeated Anthony Davis when he had Harrison Barnes paired up with Draymond Green. And Iguodala come off the bench, right? They've done that already. Okay? No, AD is not somebody who's going to be able to carry his team. He can't. Don't get me wrong, though, he's one of the best in his position. He's one of the best players in the league, but he's not going to carry no team. All right? Not like a Kawhi Leonard can. Not like a Paul George can. Remember, Paul George, you know what I'm saying, years before when he was when he was, uh, when he was was under Frank Vogel, made it to two Eastern Conference Finals. Okay? And the East back then wasn't that weak. You did have Derrick Rose over there, right? You did have Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett with Joe Johnson and Darren Williams on the Eastern Conference on the Brooklyn Nets. You did have some competition. You did have Carmen Anthony on the New York Knicks, right? LeBron was on the Miami Heat with Wade and Bosch. Okay? The East wasn't that weak. The Pacers was good. Dan, well, Paul George had Grand Joe on there. You had George Hill. You had Lance Stevenson, Roy Hibbert. Okay? Bucks had um, Monte Ellis and Brandon Jennings. It wasn't that weak. Not like it was in the last five years. Okay? But again, man... Paul George is already, like I said, again, Paul George was third in MVP voting last year behind Giannis and James Harden, okay? This is why the Clippers are ranked number one overall in the power rankings, because of that alone. And again, they got the best defensive team overall, okay? The Clippers are projected to win at least 60 wins, 55 to 60 wins, okay? In Vegas, they're currently a favorite right now. So again, man, the Clippers are not concerned with the Lakers. Why should they be when they got already got a set roster? You got Ty Lue and Doc Rivers on the same coaching staff. Okay? Two coaches who have championship rings. Vogel, Jason, Vogel, Jason Keen, and Lionel Hines, neither one of them have a championship ring at all. And the only ring Kidd has is the one he won with the uh, Mavericks. And that was, again, you had uh, Dirk Nowinski on your team. They had a super team low-key, man. They had a team full of veterans. But as a head coach... Jason Kidd has never once made it to the Western, made it to an NBA championship, let alone won a ring. Him, no Vogel, okay? And what's crazy about Frank Vogel, and this is what I say, man, the, the Clippers aren't concerned about the uh, Lakers. 
Vogel got fired from Orlando, all right? And, and, and remember, Frank Vogel got fired from Orlando, and you had Aaron Gordon, who's to me a younger Blake Griffin, right? He's uh, he's basically Blake Griffin, you know what I'm saying, minus the, uh, the injuries. Aaron Gordon's more durable than Blake Griffin. He's a younger version of Blake Griffin, but more durable, right? You've had Bismarck Bianco, who's, again, a great defensive big man. You've had Serge Ibaka down here before he got traded, before trade deadline. Yeah, Serge Ibaka. Along with DJ Augustine, right? You've had Victor Oladipo before he got traded. Okay? Because remember, Vogel was there for a minute. Or it might have, it might have not been uh, Oladipo, but you have Efrid Payton. Okay, you've had DJ Augustine. Okay? You have, you have Evan Fournier. Evan Fournier is basically a, a poor man's version of Mano Ginobili. The man can hit threes and, you know what I'm saying, and can um, basically move the ball and handle it pretty well. So he's had some nice pieces. He has some defensive pieces right there. Notice, the Orlando Magic made the playoff last year once Vogel was out there and got fired. Once Vogel got fired, they made a playoffs, right? They made the AC. Why is that? Because Vogel's system don't work. Vogel is not that good of a coach, okay? Team, too many teams have figured out how to beat Vogel. So again, if you're the Clippers right now, why would you be concerned about Vogel? Why would you be worried about the Lakers? They got Frank Vogel as their head coach, and Vade Vogel has gotten fired in Orlando, right? Remember, this is a Frank Vogel who had Indiana all that time and still couldn't get to the finals like he should have had. The Indiana Pacers could have beaten the, uh, the Miami Heat. That's no excuses for that. Okay? So, no, man. The Lakers are not worried about the... The Clippers are not trying to beat for no Lakers at all. They're not worried about that. If anything, the Clippers are, are, are concerned about, again, reaching the finals and beating either Milwaukee, New Jersey, or Philadelphia. Or, excuse me, Brooklyn. You're beating either Milwaukee, Brooklyn, okay, or even Philadelphia for the NBA for the championship next year. They're not concerned about the Lakers. Because like Snoop Dogg said in the, uh, on Undisputed, the Lakers got to first worry about making the playoffs. Okay? And I do mean that to all Laker fans respectively, right? So for you Laker fans that's going to get on my video and start talking trash about me, okay, you're going to start saying the Clippers suck, whatever, we don't have no championship title. Okay, that's fine. Y'all can say what you want to say. Everybody got their own opinion. Just know that the Lakers got to make the playoffs first, okay? The Lakers need to concentrate, in, uh, concentrate on winning at least 40 games, okay? That's what the Lakers need to do. They need to worry about working, winning at least 43 to 44 games and try to at least get a fourth or fifth seed next season. That's what they need to work on, focus on, right? Y'all need to focus on keeping players healthy because already the Lakers got more injuries than the Clippers because the only one the Clippers got to worry about who's, who's hurt right now is Paul George, okay? And Paul George's injury is not even that, that minor, not even that major. He got a minor soldier injury, soldier injury uh, shoulder, right? Paul George should be back by November. The Lakers got Kyle Kuzma. Dwight Harris also hurt right now. Boogie is, is injured, but already out for the season. Boogie might not even come back no more. There's a chance Boogie Cousin might not be let back in the league after that phone call. Him threatening his baby mom on the phone, threatening to shoot her in the face over and not bringing their son to his wedding, right? Or his best friend's wedding, right? Boogie Cousins might not be, may not be back at all. And he's hurt too. You got Kyle Kuzma hurt. And on top of that, AD is also injury prone as well. Okay, AD has not finished for the last like five years. AD has not played a full season because of his injuries. LeBron, okay, has just had a groin injury last year. And again, he's 35 years old, about to be uh, become 36. Okay, the Lakers got a lot of older guys on the team, more so than the Clippers. Okay. If you look at the Clippers roster compared to Lakers, the Clippers got a lot younger uh, players on their team, right? Like I said, Jerome Rosen, Capagalli, Terrence Mann, okay, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, these guys are under the age of 30. The only older guy they have on their team, honestly, is Lou Williams. And Lou Williams is like 32, 33. And I think Pat Beverly is barely like, I think Pat Beverly sh should be 29 or 30. But again, these are younger guys. They got this, These guys are young. Okay? The Lakers got Ray John Rondo and Danny Green, who both been playing over 10 years. I think um, Rondo and um, Danny Green been playing at least 11 or 12 years. LeBron is on his 17th season. Okay? Dwight Harris, look how long he's been playing. Same thing, on his 17th season. Him and LeBron got drafted around the same time. Or a year apart. I think Dwight Howard was, was taken in, I think, 2003. 2003, 2004 draft, right? Way back in the day. Okay, they, they got they got older veterans. The only young players they got, even JaVel McGee. JaVel McGee been in the league a while, too. Again, 11, 10, 11, 11 season. JaVel McGee been playing since um, 2009. 2009, 2010. 
Yeah, it's just the, just the 2009-2010 season. So they got, they got older guys, man. The only younger guys they really got on the team is probably um, Carwell Pope, I think um, Quinn Cook, and Troy Daniels, and Kyle Kuzma. But that's it. The Clippers got a deep roster of younger guys. Mo Harkless, all Jamaica Green, they're all young. Okay? So the Clippers don't have to worry about injuries. They're not going to get his injuries. They're not going to be hurt as much. Yeah, Kawhi and Paul George have been injuries before, but Kawhi and Paul George, if you notice, they've been able to finish a full season. And again, Paul George and Kawhi Leonard have made the playoffs last year. Okay? They were in postseason. Both LeBron and AD's teams did not even make the playoffs. And AD didn't even finish the full season because he wanted to be traded. He decided not to play. He only played about 56 games. So again, man, I'm not, if I'm, me being a Clipper fan, I'm not worried at all. I know for a fact this Clipper team can get out the second round and they can get to the Western Conference Finals. Right? This team is going to get to the championship, to the finals next year. Okay? And if not next year, then definitely, definitely in 2021 when Kevin Rent them come back. Right? So anyway, folks, that's the video, man. I'm just going to clear it up. There is no beef. Kawhi Leonard and Paul George aren't worried about AD and LeBron whatsoever. Right? That's just Stephen A. Spitt and the rest of the media trying to be, um, trying to, is just pissed off. They mad as hell. They mad that the Lakers can't be a super team and winning multiple championships. Okay? They mad that the Lakers haven't been in the finals in the last six years. They're pissed off about that. Okay? The Lakers ain't did anything since 2010. Okay? Since Kobe Bryant and Paul Gasol and Andrew Bynum. Artest and Fisher with Vuja Fitch and all those guys were together, right? When Phil Jackson was still coaching. That was years ago, right? That was that was once upon a time. It's 2019, 2020. We gotta we gotta look towards the future now, right? Those days are over. Okay. So anyway, folks, that's the video, man. My uh, shouts out to any Clipper fans that's out there. Again, you got nothing to worry about, right? Don't like again, the only thing we should be worried about. It's how this team is going to uh, go, uh, make it to the Western Conference Finals and how we're going to uh, win a championship. Okay? That's what we need to be worried about. Anyway, folks, that's the video, man. I would love to hear y'all opinion. Y'all tell me what you think. Stay blessed. Stay tuned. I'll see you soon.